The following program is intended for informational purposes only and not as a standalone tool. Please refer to the Flexco website and other Flexco and Mindline literature for more detailed instructions. Prior to any work on your conveyors, make sure that the power has been turned off and that the belt is locked out. Follow other safety precautions as outlined in the operator's manual. And be sure to put on all recommended safety gear before beginning any belt maintenance procedure. As a further safety precaution, be aware that components may be heavy. Be sure to follow safety approved lifting procedures at all times. When you're ready to begin, gather your tools and the material shipped to you with the MSP pre-cleaner. Notice that all the nuts and bolts needed for assembly can be found in a plastic bag attached to one of the mounting plates. You will need a tape measure, a two or four foot level, a marker, a torch welder, a vice grip or C-clamp, an adjustable wrench, a combination wrench, and a grinder. Keep in mind that for open head installations, you will first need to add mounting support to the structure. Mounting plate and optional mounting bar kits are available from Flexco. Contact your sales representative or call our customer service hotline for more information. The first step in installing the MSP pre-cleaner is to find the correct pole position. To do this, you'll need to determine the X, Y, and C dimensions. Start by measuring the diameter of the pulley, including the lagging and belt. Once you know the pulley diameter, you can determine dimensions X, Y, and C by referring to the chart included in your installation instruction packet. Divide the diameter of the pulley by two. Measure this distance from the outer edge of the pulley, plus the lagging and belt, to the center of the shaft. Place a mark here. Measure horizontally from this mark the distance determined by dimension X. Make another mark. One more measurement to go. Draw a vertical line down from dimension X. Measure nine inches and make a mark. This is dimension C, where the center of the cleaner pole should go. If this location is obstructed, find a new position by moving dimension C along an arc from the center of the pulley shaft. Dimension C must remain constant in its distance from the center of the pulley shaft in order to correctly locate the pole. For detailed instructions on how to relocate the X and Y coordinates, see our online video library at flexco.com. Now, repeat this entire process on the opposite side of the conveyor. Find the mounting plate template that came in your installation packet. Place the center of the largest hole over the dimension C point. Line up your guidelines with the marks on the mounting template. With the template aligned, trace the pole cutout and the four mounting holes. Cut out the holes in the mounting plate. Finish this step by priming or painting the cutouts. Use the template to repeat the measurement, marking and cutting processes on the other side of the conveyor. Now you're ready to install the mounting plates. Using the bolts provided, bolt the mounting plates to the chutes. Center the plates using the slotted holes. Once centered, tighten the bolts on the plates. The next step is to install the pole. Start by removing both blade pins and the blade from the pole. Now, insert the pole through the holes in the mounting plates. Now you're ready to center the cleaner blade on the belt and lock it into place. Start by reinstalling the blade. Remember to insert the pins. Then center the blade by sliding it until it covers the material path. At this point, you will be installing the pole lock collar onto the pole. Position it on the end of the pole that will not have the tensioner. The pole lock collar should be snug against the mounting plate. Now, Rotate the blade up to the belt. 
be sure that the blade is square to the pulley face. If the blade is not square to the pulley face, loosen a mounting plate on one side and adjust the plate forward or backward to square the blade to the pulley. Then re-tighten the bolts. Now you are ready to install the QMT spring tensioner. Start by sliding the spring tensioner assembly onto the pole. If extra room is needed, flip the pivot arm around. Make sure the rotation of the arm is correct to tension the blade. At this point, rotate the arm until the pivot shaft bracket lines up with the desired bolt holes. If needed, remove the bolts, nuts, and washers from the mounting plate. Now reinstall them through the pivot shaft bracket and the mounting plate. Now turn your attention to the spring assembly. There are two adjusting nuts. Turn them so that about a quarter inch of the pivot arm is exposed above the nuts. Now you're going to tension the blade to the belt. Start by rotating the blade until it contacts the belt. While you hold the spring bushing flat on the torque arm, rotate the torque arm until the pivot arm is against the slot end that is nearest the pole. Make sure the torque arm is against the mounting plate. Now, tighten the locking bolts and jam nuts on the torque arm. You have only one more step left, and that is setting the blade tension. To determine the appropriate spring length, refer to the chart in your installation instructions. Lightly pull the pivot arm toward the end of the torque arm that is nearest the pole. Turn the adjusting nuts until the spring reaches the length indicated by the chart. Use the template provided to verify the correct pole location. And to verify that the MSP is located correctly, it's important to switch on the conveyor and test run it for 15 minutes. Make any adjustments necessary to optimize the pre-cleaner's performance. Use tape to protect the threaded rod. For more information on installation of the MSP pre-cleaner, go to www.flexco.com or contact your authorized Flexco distributor.